We are learning more tonight about the future of an iconic Danville landmark. A real estate development company in Wisconsin is considering buying the famous White Mill Building. 10 News reporter Cole Transtead is working for you to learn more about the company's plans. Development of the White Mill Building has been seen by some as a white elephant. The structure has been vacant for over a decade. The Alexander Company could change that. Development project manager Dave Voss says a company interested in opening up in the building will be taking a tour next week. We specialize in the adaptive reuse and urban infill projects. Uh, we've completed at least 100 historic structures. The Alexander Company will spend the next nine months investigating the building and then decide whether or not to purchase it. Work could begin next year if the purchase goes through, according to Voss, with the building being ready for tenants as soon as a year after work begins. All of the square footage is contained in a single building, so it makes it, in some senses, a little less complex than other projects. Danville Economic Development Director Telly Tucker says the city isn't going to just sit back and hope the company buys the building. We're going to do everything we can, too, to work with them during that nine-month period um, to help convince them that this is a wise investment. The White Mill's future design depends on what companies that open up inside want and what the city is willing to accept. Tucker says conceptual designs created last year as a way to market the building have been shown to the company. We wouldn't tie their hands to that specifically, um, so they really kind of have free reign. If development moves forward, it won't be alone. In a separate project a few blocks away, a Roanoke developer has just purchased two buildings on South Union Street and plans to turn them into a boutique hotel. In Danville, Colter Anstat, 10 News, working for you.